Hi ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to show you how to check all the fluids under the hood of your car. And before we get started on that, let's talk about some of the fluids that are underneath the hood of your car. Uh, the most important one being motor oil. We'll show you how to check, check the oil level and add if necessary. Uh, coolant, antifreeze, that's the next most important thing to check. And there are a couple different types of antifreezes for different types of cars, so we'll talk a little bit about that. Power steering fluid, okay? There's different types of power steering fluid as well, and some of these newer cars don't even have power steering fluid anymore. They have electronic control power steering. Brake fluid, here's another one um, we will talk about. Also, we'll talk about the washer fluid, okay? And a couple tools that you will need for doing this is a couple different types of funnels, a transmission funnel and just a regular oil funnel. And of course, a good old roll of paper towels. So let's go under the hood and get started. Okay friends, hey, we're underneath the hood now getting ready to check some fluids. Two things I wanna emphasize, make sure the engine is off and also make sure the vehicle is on level surface. Okay, so let's crawl underneath the hood here. First thing we're going to check today is the oil level. Um, typically, your dipstick is going to be yellow on most cars, easy to find. That may not be the case all the time. Go ahead and pull the dipstick, wipe it clean with your paper towel. And as you can see here right quick, um, there's a dot here and a dot here. Anywhere in between here would be a safe zone, okay? So let's go ahead and put the fluid back in here, or the dipstick back in the tube. Pull it out, let's see where the oil reading is at. And it looks like it is definitely in the safe zone, it's closer to the upper end of the stick. So the oil level in this vehicle is great, and it looks pretty clean. Looks like this customer definitely keeps the oil changed in them. Okay. Now friends, if you did have to add oil, you will have to locate the oil filler cap, okay? And on this vehicle, and almost it's right there on top of the engine and you would pull that cap off and this would be where you would use your oil funnel and we will go ahead and put the oil funnel in place and we would add probably just about a fourth of a quart at a time and continue checking it with the dipstick now the next thing we're going to check under the hood is the coolant level uh, this here is your radiator cap definitely do not want to remove that when the engine is hot okay and to check your coolant level, just go to your coolant reservoir, okay? Pull the lid off of that, and you may need a flashlight. You can shine down in here, and you can see where the level of the coolant is. And if you look on the side of the jug, it is right on the max line. So there's no need to add any coolant at this time. So we'll go ahead and put the lid back on. Our next fluid that we will check will be the power steering fluid. Here's our power steering reservoir. We'll go ahead and pull the cap off. Once again, we'll shine our flashlight in there, and as you can see where the fluid level is, and it's right there on the max line, okay? So we're good to go on the power steering fluid. One more fluid that's right here is our washer fluid. And this right here, we're gonna go ahead and add some, because we can't even see anything down there. So let me go ahead and get the lid off here. We've got our bottle of washer fluid here that's good for 20 below zero. You definitely want to add a type of washer fluid that has some sort of methanol in it if you live in a cold climate, okay? So now it looks like we're good to go on the washer fluid. Now friends, we have a couple more fluids to check under the hood of this car. Uh, the next one would be brake fluid, okay? And your brake fluid master cylinder typically is on the driver's side on the firewall. Now, I can look down in here and I can see the max line is right here and the fluid level is actually below the max line but it's not to the minimum line I don't want to add fluid to this car this car actually needs a brake check okay because the fluid goes down in a reservoir of a master cylinder as the brake pads wear out I'm going to recommend to my customer here that we need to check the front and rear brakes I don't want to just add fluid just yet Okay, friends, hey, for the final fluid check on this vehicle, we have to start the engine, okay? Because we're going to check the transmission fluid. And on this vehicle, the engine needs to be running in park, okay? So let's reach down here. Let me grab my light so you can see. I'm going to reach for this dipstick right here. And some of your newer vehicles won't 
will have a sealed transmission. You won't be able to check it, okay? But this one here still has a dipstick. Let's go ahead and wipe it clean. We're going to stick it back in, and we're going to pull it out and check it. Okay, now let me see if we can get the camera on there. As we can see, the fluid level actually is a little bit low because you see the two hatch marks, this level should be in between these hatch marks closer to the upper one, okay? I don't have the fluid for this vehicle today. This takes CVT type automatic transmission fluid. So we will have to get some and add it later. Okay folks, hey, that about wraps up our video on how to check the fluids underneath the hood. We do have a video on checking tire pressure, another very important thing to keep tabs on on your vehicle, okay? You could click below and it'll take you straight to that video. Once again, thank you for stopping by and checking out our video today. Don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend about us, like us, and we will see you next time. Take care.